Give me your gun. What are you doing? Just give me your gun. Hello? Today is four years, man. You would have been 16. Sergio, man, I, I'm sorry. Four fucking years. No evidence, nothing. He was walking home from basketball practice. There you go, fellas. Thank you. Thanks, man. Think about it, man, I mean, what are we really doing? What are we really fighting for? I mean, we... <laughs> Sergio, it's a bigger monster than we can defeat, man. I guess I just hate to see you hung up on this. Especially for so long. I'm not too sure what to say. I appreciate it. I'm getting out of here, man. All right, man. It's worth every single drop of revenge inside of me. Gooch, I want you to meet my friends. We go way back. Me and Gucci's known each other for like 20 years. I'm the godfather of his children. Ah, padrino. Mi nombre es Fernando, mucho gusto. Se Raúl, mi hermano. Hemos escuchado tanto de ti, Gucci, y es un placer por fin conocerte en persona. What my brother says is, we've heard so much about you. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Un placer. And you all met Logan earlier. He had to make a call. My apologies. So we're about to embark on a big milestone as an organization, as you well know. What we're about to set up is going to change our lives, and our children's lives, and their children's lives. We are artists, we are visionaries, and we are paving the way for ourselves and our future generations. And to that I say, salute, hermanos. Salute. salute. You've all have heard by now, there was another hit last night. Two bodies by the river, no IDs. And shockingly, no evidence whatsoever. This is starting to become an everyday malice. And now more than ever, we need to keep our eyes and our ears white. Nice of you to join us. Why don't you fill us in on the Sanchez brothers lead. I got nothing, sir. Uh, leads were strong and quite frankly, I don't think it's worth our time going down this rabbit trail. Is that it? Anybody else? So you're telling me that all this shit is happening right underneath our noses? I'll tell you what. Why don't we just turn over this whole damn investigation to the feds? Since apparently, we've all forgotten how to do fucking police work around here. Sir, do we at least know what these assholes look like? Why don't you ask Sherlock Holmes? Nothing. As far as anyone else knows, those bastards are ghosts. I need to go get some coffee. Guys, last night, I got a phone call from some random guy in McAllen, Texas. An industrial plant signed off on a massive shipment of more than 12 freights. McAllen? Why are they calling here? Apparently, the shipment was scheduled to come somewhere here in the city. So, there's this guy, Guillermo, and up until recently, he worked at the plant. 
that his supervisors told him to sign off on everything without any question. So Guillermo got a little suspicious. He asked one of his shipment guys to check into one of the freights, and that was the beginning of the end. How so? The shipment guy was killed the very next day. Well, luckily Guillermo, he was able to get away and hide. What was in the shipment? It was art supplies, cocaine, and guns. Art supplies? Wait a sec. This guy's been signing off on documents for months, and this is the first we're hearing about it? It's kind of strange. Good work. We're gonna have to find a way to talk to this Guillermo guy. We may have to go to McAllen, Texas. All right, that's all I got. Let's hit the street, guys. Yes, sir. Hey, Ken. Good job. Uh, let me know if you need help with anything. You and I need to talk. Yes. Listen, I can explain. Stephen from McAllen has been sitting intel for months now. To you. I just so happened to be here last night when he called. Listen, I know how it sounds. I understand. I've been trying to piece everything together before we brought everyone on board. You gotta understand. I piece it together? There is months of paperwork. You need to go to Henry or I will. Hey, Caitlin, you're totally overreacting. You know me. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Cooch, this isn't college anymore. This isn't some petty exercise. This is serious. And it's only gonna get worse. Look, I love my city. I love the people. I love my job. I'd hate to see it all rot. Me too. I, you know I love this city. Listen, give me a few days, get everything together. I'll talk to Henry myself. You talk to Henry today, or I will. Ben, hey, uh, we need to talk. case keeps getting more complicated. I know. They're sending me to McAllen tomorrow to try to get a sketch. No shit. Get some rest. Good night. What you doing? How's it going, girl? What are you doing here so late? Just looking over these documents. So many of them. Just months worth. Man, I am starved. What do you say we go get a late night bite and maybe a beer? You know, something's not right. I intend to find out. Well, you know, we will get to the bottom of it. Why don't we uh, talk it over over a meal? Give me an hour or so. Look over a few more of these documents and then I'll come meet you for a nightcap. Okay. Sergio? <laughs> hey, ladies. Ben, man, I got over as soon as I could, but I mean, you know what it's like when you're leaving and the missus asks you to run a couple errands for her, do some stuff. Logan, we're fucked. I, I don't, what are you talking we're about? Fucked. Nothing's fucked. Everything is ready to go. The ready to go to signed. hell? Look at this. I take it you haven't seen this. I don't I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is this? You see the difference? There's no signature here. We were supposed to intercept this before it went to the wetbacks. Man, this is What the... happened? I don't know, but this is the first that I have seen this. There's red flags all over this. It's the fucking 4th of July, Logan. Listen. Give me 
a few days. The shit has hit the fan. We can sort this out. Just give me a few days to deal with this. We thing. don't have a few days, Logan. Do you realize that? You have one fucking day. I'll, I'll see what I can do, man. Hey, how's your wife? She's fine. Is the dance studio going good? Yeah. Man, when I'm in the neighborhood, I'm totally gonna stop by and get the Grand Tour. I haven't seen it yet. And uh, I've been trying to get the waltz. The last couple of steps have really been throwing me off. I think she could help me with it. What's up, dude? You need to get back in the office? No, something's happened, man. They found Kayla's body, man. She's dead. What? What? She's not dead. I was just with her. They're taping off the area now. I was just with her, man. We were about to... We were gonna get a beer. We were gonna get some food. I gotta see her. I'm sorry, man. No. Amigo, ¿qué pasó, carnal? Yeah, but you told me everything was good to go. Mm-hmm. You parade my sons around your godless town, proclaim good news, and then you punish us. ¿Sabes qué? Eres una basura. Escúchame. Escúchame bien. If you don't fix this right now, we're gonna fix it for you. And I don't want any excuses. Papá. ¿Estás bien? Sí, estoy bien, mija. Dile a tus hermanos que acaben con esa basura y que sigan con el operativo. Now Guillermo says he was told to sign off on every shipment that came through the plant. And now he says he did see the man who came through the plant. Some kind of contractista. A contractor? Mm -hmm. What about the, the Sanchez brothers? Los, los Sanchez, lo, los hermanos Sanchez. Well, he says no one talks about him or even thinks about him. It'd be kind of like biting the hand that feeds you. But he did notice a few months ago that uh, the paperwork started becoming highly irregular. And that's when things got crazy. Mira, Guillermo, nosotros tenemos unas preguntas para ti. Si nos puedes ayudar. Miren, yo no quiero ningún problema. Por favor, yo solo trabajo para mantener a mi familia, a mi esposa, a mis hijos. Claro, claro. 
Yo sé que he visto un hombre en la planta. Yo solo lo, lo vi una vez. Yo solo lo vi. Si lo puedes describir con lo más detalle que puedas, del cuello para arriba, la nariz, las orejas, la cara, porque lo que yo voy a hacer, yo voy a tomar unas notas y luego nosotros vamos a, a mirar unos materiales que nos va a ayudar mucho más para, para describir este hombre. Yo me recuerdo que él era, tenía cara gorda, eh, orejas pequeñas, y el poco pelo que tenía era como alborotado, un poco rizo. Eh, porque él, él tenía lentes, lentes como para leer. Mira Guillermo, nosotros te vamos a ayudar. ¿Hablaste con papá? Sí, hablé con él y ese güey nos cruzó, Raúl. Puta madre. Bueno, hay que seguir. Where's my lawyer? You don't need a lawyer, Ben. You see, I don't have any questions to ask you. Just facts. Because you know where those shipments are going. Ben. And you also know where the Sanchez brothers are. <laughs> You're all over this shit. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Who killed Kayla, Ben? Who killed Kayla, Ben? Okay, that's it. Ben, let's go. We're done here. Who killed Kayla? You son of a Henry, bitch! Henry. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on, Logan. I just lost one of my best detectives. I heard about that, and I'm really sorry. Oh yeah? Well, take a look at this. through this. Amor, we will be okay. I will do anything for you. And I mean anything. You trust me? You piece of shit! You knew the whole time. Intel was coming to you. What are you talking about? Just tell me, you didn't have anything to do with Kayla getting killed. You fucking going crazy, man. We've been partners for 10 years. What, what are you talking about? 10 years for what? Yo, Gooch. Hold up. Why haven't you answered my calls, man? Everything's all right, fellas. It doesn't yeah. seem like that, Gooch. You told us we'd have something by now to go on. Yeah, something doesn't feel right. Give me some time. Nah, man. Not you, you, you've run out of time. We've run out of time. It'll be all right. Get Just... your shit together. Figure this out. Put me in a very compromising situation here, Gooch. Ben, I can fix this. I can take care of this, man. Come on. 
There's no fixing this. The ball has been dropped. It's only a matter of time before this whole thing blows up like confetti. And you know who's gonna be covered in it? Me, Gooch. Me. Covered? We talking about covered, Ben? I've been covering your ass for years, man. Years. Ben, you're a fucking drug dealer, Ben. A drug dealer? A drug dealer, man. After all these years, you're gonna call me a fucking drug dealer? You know what I do. I make no qualms about it. I help people. I help you, help your family. You know how this ends. 20 years, Ben, come on, man. You're out. I just don't have the heart to actually kill you. So you have to disappear, Gooch. You don't exist. Take your wife, your family, and get the fuck out of here. 20 fucking years, man. Think of the good times, Gooch. We lived a lot of life together. Now get the fuck out of my house. The good times. You need to come with us, Benny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 babe. Baby, I got it. I'll be back in a little bit. I just gotta go with these guys. Let's okay. Go. Love you. Bye. Anybody. He ain't going anywhere. You good, brother? We're good. Surprise, surprise. Now what? Give me your gun. What are you doing? Just give me your gun. Go ahead and cuff him. <coughs> How's it feel? You feel the power? This isn't gonna bring your little girl back. Or your brother. Maybe the only way to defeat a monster is to become one.